Yes, you do. Of course, I do. Yeah. Well, I think music allows people to. This might sound banal to express their feelings and to get in touch with their feelings, and to feel human and to feel as if they're ex they're experiencing something beautiful. So I know, for example, that um, uh, fans of, um, like, if you look at personality traits, um, people who like, uh, like people who like classical music and people who like heavy metal are actually are very similar in personality. <laughs> if they've been exposed to a variety of styles, they're more able to, number one, tolerate different styles, number two, to appreciate them and number three, to let themselves get involved without feeling self-conscious. I'd say more relaxing or thought-provoking. It motivates me. It motivates me to do more work. Um, it's relaxing and some music is energizing. It's entertainment, but it's more than that. It, playing allows me to let to vent negative emotion, negative feelings, in a positive manner. Well, I think music is really important to people in general because it gives them a space for them to be like a virtual space that it creates. So if you, and, 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 and it acts like an amplifier to your emotions. So sometimes if you're sad, you actually will not feel like listening to happy music to make you feel happy. It, most likely people, when they're feeling sad, they'll listen to sad music. And while they're listening to the sad music, it makes them kind of amplify their emotions and let them out. So that's one of the reasons why, why people listen to music. Also, um, sometimes you might um, feel tired and you need a little bit of boost of energy. So in that case, like some people will listen to music that's really rhythmic because it, it affects their, like it, it shapes the way they feel in a way that, you know, maybe helps them work or do exercise or whatever. So I think that uh, your exposure to, your prior exposure to music <coughs> is what predicts most what kind of music you like to listen to. Hip hop and R&B. Uh, I'm a 60s and 70s folk rock fan, and it's mostly what I play, too. Music genre jazz. Love and rock. I like to listen to uh, uh, music that is like French songs uh, that are more akin to like the culture where I'm from. Classical. I listen to a lot of African music and uh, jazz and improvisation music. I listen to more kind of Americana folk type music, but now I listen to a lot of his music too. I think music can help people connect with one another. You often, you know, you might um, feel closer to someone if you have similar tastes, and that's something that you can share together. But just uh, music in itself, just the act of listening to music, actually has an effect on your body. Um, we actually are wired to synchronize with music. And if, so if you listen, many people together listening to music, you will actually all be kind of synchronizing your movements both to the music and to each other. And that makes you feel like you have a closeness with one another, it makes you feel part of a group. And I think that's that's a very important uh, function of music. Now you see somebody walking down the street, they've got that personal thundercloud going over their heads, they're shooting up, up lightning bolts out of their eyes, stamping their feet. And all of a sudden that stamp becomes a tap, and the smile comes over their face, and the clouds go away, and the sun comes out for them. I've changed, I've, I've done something to change the day for it. It makes me feel really good. Someone's hometown and childhood typically have a huge effect on their personality and life choices. Does this apply to musical taste too? Um, where did you grow up? Where did I grow up? Uh, in Florida and Pennsylvania. I'm um, in New Haven. Carthage, Illinois. Uh, Chicago. I grew up in a very small town in Germany. They're like very really related, related to my culture and where I grew up. And I guess I have some nostalgia for, 
for where I grew up because I'm not there anymore, I'm kind of exiled. So a lot of the music that I listen to kind of helps me reconnect with uh, where I'm from and, and kind of my childhood. Musical choices are not necessarily defined by where you come from or how old you are. Young and old can enjoy classical music and people from completely different places like New Haven and Chicago can both love hip hop. Because people are very complex, right? We have a lot of different um, spheres of activity. Like if I just think of myself, like I, if I'm someone at work, I, my work has an influence on how I am and I've chose a word that I like, but it says something about my personality, but the way, what I do at work is very different from what I do at home. So each of these spheres of, of activity, I think, define you in some, in some ways. So I think that personality is, I mean, I, I, there's many sides to a personality. And so maybe in, that's why there's many different contrasting things that we might listen to. We are all human. Music plays important roles in all of our lives. Humanity has listened to music for thousands of years and will continue to do so for thousands more. Music is unexplainable. It can make you laugh, cry, sing, dance, or go wild. It lets you be yourself. It doesn't matter where you're from or who you are. Music has something for all of us. Listen to what you love.